felt really good. Uh, I mean, definitely the the first few minutes, I was a little nervous, and I was kind of had flashbacks to that Detroit game my freshman year, where I was just running up and down the court, not really sure where I was going. But uh, I got once I got into the flow, I felt really good, and I felt my uh, my condition kind of just come in with me, get the second wind a little bit, and I felt really good. How frustrating has it been to not only sit out, out last year, you knew that with the injury, but then when that sprained ankle happened just uh, 10 days ago, how frustrating was just the past week for you? I mean, it was frustrating. Um, I knew that, I mean, the ultimate goal, and that's all we've really been talking about is Davidson. And with, like, the coaches around me and my teammates around me, I knew that that was our main goal. Like, if I was just going to have to miss one game, like, this is the time to miss it. Um, but, like, we continued to work, and uh, NATO, our trainer, just – I mean, we, we probably put in around 35 treatments since I had the injured ankle, so I got to thank him waking up, meet me in between classes and stuff like that just to work on the ankle, massage a little bit, ice bucket. So, uh, I mean, it wasn't really frustrating. It was just like something I had to deal with. Uh, I dealt with it and moved on. When, when you got that last, when you checked out for that final time, did you, I saw you go all the way down to the end of the, to the bench to, to shake his hand. Yeah, I, no, I owe him a lot through the back injury and the, uh, and the ankle, like, I mean, he's kept me. He's kept my head up. Like um, when you tell somebody that they're not going to be able to play basketball for a year and that they're probably going to be out with a back surgery, uh, it's not really something easy to do. But he he kept my head up. He kept me working. Kept he just he keeps my body just keeps improving. Make sure I'm eating right. Uh, he keep make sure I stays away from the Dr Pepper. But just, it's just an improvement. He just he, he's I got to thank him a lot for working with me. Was it tough to see your teammates take so many hard fouls tonight? Oh, I don't know about it. it's tough because um, that's going to happen throughout the whole season. We play tough teams and um, we play physical teams, and that's something that some teams just use to get into your head. And uh, I think tonight that we did a very good job of like keeping calm and just going to the line. Um, I mean, we can improve on definitely making a, a lot more free throws, but uh, I thought I thought we kept cool and handled our handled our heads, and that, that's impressive because that's gonna that's. It, there's going to be hard fouls in games, and if the people that can stay calm and just go to the line and make the free throws, I think that's staying above the game. How important was it for you to play in this game before playing against Davidson? Uh, I think it was really important just to get my feet, just to get, just to get in there, just to get a feel for it, because it's different. You can go practicing since February, and I got out there today. I got out there in the scrimmages, and with people watching you, it's just a different atmosphere. Um, I enjoyed it a lot, and I mean, I, I'm thankful for being able to just come out here and just work hard and play. And uh, I got to thank my teammates and everybody for giving me an opportunity just to work around, get my feet back under me, and understanding where I'm coming from. How tough was it to deal with so many fouls being committed on you guys by Highland I mean, I, I can't really say that like threw us out of a flow because, I mean, we were getting to the line. Normally, we're going to probably hit, what, 25% more of our free throws. And so that's going to make a, a, what we shot around 50 free throws. So that's, that's quite a bit more makes, uh, about 10 more points on the board. So. That's uh, that's just something we're gonna have to deal with. Uh, I thought we, we we stayed strong. I mean, a couple times we could have got fouled and uh, just lost the ball back down there for easy layups. And I think our, our guards handled it really well. Um, and then got the ball down into the post where we, me and Cam were able to to make stuff happen. Do you, do you like being the only big man on the floor? I mean, it really, it really uh, doesn't matter to me. Um, I enjoy playing with two because then we can kind of flash and do our stuff, and we get some open shots, and we can pass to each other. But uh, at the same time, like it's fun to be able to get out there and run a little bit um, and have a little bit more speed on the court and kind of trail things up when Kendall and all of them are just flying past me. But uh, no, nah, it, really, it really doesn't matter. Whatever we have to do to get uh, to just get points and be successful on both ends of the floor, that's what we need to do, and that's what we'll continue to do. 21 minutes, how do you feel, man? Do you think you can play uh, even more? Yeah, I mean, I felt really good towards the end, too. Um, um, I was a little tired there after that first little stretch, but I think that was just like kind of getting used to the atmosphere and stuff like that. Um, I think there will be times when I'm called on to play 20, but I'm just going to go out there and play as hard as I can. And uh, coach, coach sees when I'm tired, and coach sees when Cam's tired, and we'll rotate for each other. Or if we're playing together, we'll rotate in a, uh, another four in there. So um, I'll do what I have to do for the team. Uh, well, that's an emphasis. Uh, you know, with only two really true bigs with Cam and, and um, Alex. Uh, being the only bigs, it's been an emphasis for us since day one. Um, we're going to play four guards, so we need to rebound, and I think everyone's buying in. I think that Davidson will be a huge challenge, um, but if we can keep you know, working hard and rebounding, I think that, that'll be a key for us to win the game. Coach talks about you being the guy that kind of settles things down a lot of the time. That second half, part of it was the fouling, but part of it was some sloppy play. Can mm -hmm. you talk about kind of what went wrong a little bit in that second half? 
Yeah, I think it was, uh, we lost a lot of concentration. I think that's what it was. Things at the foul line, we had some turnovers, um, and we just, we, we couldn't run. That's what we capitalised on in the first half. We were getting stops and getting out and running, and that's what we do best. But, you know, they were scoring, so it was stopping our transition. I think that that, um, that was the main issue, that we, we couldn't get out and, and run like we, we normally do and what we do in the first half. But, I mean, we, we put together a great uh, first half. We just got to be able to, to do it for 40 minutes. And on that same note, Coach also said in that second half, you guys lost a little bit of your rhythm. Mm -hmm. what, what works for you guys, uh, especially you as a, as a leader on the court, to make sure that rhythm can, you know, can come back and stay consistent for 40 minutes? Uh, we just got to gotta buy in. Um, like I said, we got to play for 40 minutes. Uh, we can't afford to slip up. And, you know, credit to, you know, credit to Highlands. So, you know, they, they, they didn't give up. Um, they they played the full 40 minutes in the second half. They really got into us and you know it gave us some it gave us some problems. But we just got to keep our concentration. You know? It's only the second game of the season. Um, but you know, like I said last week, it's it's not as if we get a few games to kind of work into it. We're going up against probably one of our better teams that we're going to play all year. So I think it's just a concentration thing and just bringing guys together if things aren't going right and you know try and get them back on the right track. I know you guys have seen him in practice all this time and you guys have all talked about how well he's been in practice the whole year off and all that. But to see Alex do what he did tonight on the court was it a little, a little bit of a relief to, to the players? It was great. You know, we, you know, we were behind him 100%. It was it was awesome to see. You know, he's he's put in a lot of work. It's been a long year for him, and I know sitting out last year it killed him. He really wanted to be a part of you know a championship run, and he was. You know, he helped us on the sideline, and I know he helped Cam a lot and Drew and that. So. It's great to see him out there, and it's great to you know seek the rewards that you know for all the hard work that he's put in, and I think he's going to be a, a huge factor in going forward this year. 